VFC 53 from the sold out five Sullivan Brothers Convention Center in Waterloo, Iowa. Our victory post fight breakdown is brought to you by Alienware, the ultimate gaming experience. With Joe Wilk, I'm Sean Wheelock. Throughout 2016 on UFC Fight Pass, victory has led to a lot of finishes in the square victory cage. Tonight, Joe, six fights, four finishes, all in the first round. It's what we've come to expect with the VFC. Bright lights, big fights, bigger finishes. We open tonight's card in the welterweight division. This fight going the distance, hard fought throughout. That's right, very even matchup. Armandale Cameron versus Clarence Jordan. Jordan able to get the win in the next fight. Two big heavyweights, Kyle Noblet, able to get, secure the knee bar and get a finish in the first round. Chris Dunn comes up a weight class to 145, but doesn't lack finishing power, as we see here with a big finish and then a big backflip for a celebration. Next fight, Rakim Cleveland able to get a verbal submission over Callie Kruger. One-sided fight here. Rakim said he wouldn't take a shot in the whole fight. That ended up being true as he dominated Callie Kruger. Co-main event, we had Mike Plazola able to catch a rear naked choke against Nick Bartles, secures the arm so he can't defend, and gets another first round finish in the VFC square. And then finally in our main event, the hottest prospect in all of MMA, Rafion Stotts against a legend in Jeff Curran. One-sided fight here, 30-27, I thought on my scorecard, but Jeff Curran, a legend, stepping up against a big up-and-comer like Rafion Stotts to finish our night here in Waterloo, Iowa. In your post-fight interview, Joe, Jeff Curran telling us that after 55 pro MMA fights at age 39, he's calling it a career. That's right, and, and I, I don't use the term legend lightly, but I really believe that that man is a legend. It was an honor to call his fight. It, it was a, an emotional moment for him when I did the interview, and it almost choked me up. Uh, a true legend of our sport, and I couldn't be happier to be able to call his last fight right along with you, Sean. And Rafion Stotts moves to 7-0. Next up, quite possibly the UFC. We now turn our attention to our next victory card. It is headed to Omaha on December 9th. I can't wait, baby. Bright lights and big fights on UFC Fight Pass. He's Joe Wilk. I'm Sean Wheelock. Glad you're with us for Victory Fighting Championship.